Before you guys watch the video, Gamma is doing a big sale. Buy one, get one free. Buy one tub, get a uh, box or tub free on the 23rd. And it also comes with a free white shaker cup. So make sure you guys check that deal out. Also use code Prizzy for 10% off all your Gamma purchases. Yeah, what's up? So if I hide here and wait, something will happen. Yes! Woo! What is going on guys, Face Prizzy here, and today I am doing another commentary on another question you guys asked me. You guys seem to like these, so I'm happy that you guys do because they're pretty simple to make and they are hopefully entertaining. Today's question comes from at Akil underscore. I think that's how you pronounce it. Akil? 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 Achilles? Where the fuck am I getting stunned from? Bitch. Whenever someone asks me a question like this, like, what would you do if you had a time machine? If you had, if you could go back and change one thing, what would it be? What do you regret? There's honestly only one thing that comes to mind, and it is changing what I did in my high school career. And in high school, I really just did not try to study at all. Like, I was a pretty bad student up until around junior year, which I really regret. In my freshman year, I had like a 2.1 GPA or something like that. And it was just because I did not try at all. And this is due to the fact that back when I was in 8th or 7th grade, I started skating and I started hanging out with like the wrong crowd, is what people say. Ro oh my god, look at this guy. But yeah, the friends that I made in like 7th or 8th grade, they weren't really, uh, they weren't really scholars, to say the least. And as you guys know, friends have a huge influence on you. And if they don't study, you're not gonna really study either. Every day I'd go to school, I would sleep in school, I would come home, and I would skate until like 7 or 8 p.m. Are you really still there? And then I would come back home, I would shower, play video games, and I would sleep really late, and I would just repeat the cycle over and over. And obviously it was just a vicious cycle of me sleeping late, wait, going to school, sleeping at school, and just keep keep repeating. And obviously with that, my health deteriorated, my grades plunged. I remember back in 8th grade, I got a D in like the math class I was in. Oh, I swear to god. Oh my- Oh! I got him. But yeah, this prompted my mom to sign me up for like this remedial math class. Like it was like the lowest of the low. It was like 2x plus 3 equals 5 kind of shit. And keep in mind, I was good at math. I was pretty smart, but I was just super lazy and I never did my work. So I ended up getting like a 105% in that class or something like that. And I made a few friends, dumb friends mind you, but they were very nice. But yeah, going back to the topic, I really just regret and if I could go back in time, I would change my study habits in high school. Not so much because that would affect what college I'm going to now, because the college I'm going to now is good and... And the thing to do in my state is to go to this community college for two years because their tuition is dirt cheap. And also, um, they have this guarantee thing, where basically if you keep up a GPA for two years, you can pretty much switch to any school in my state. But I feel as though my life would have gone much more smoothly if I had studied well. Like, I, I could have probably won a lot more awards or scholarships to help my mom financially for my college. The bigger one would be, I'm Asian, so my mom would have been much happier with my grades, obviously. What the hell is this? What is that? Like, I don't regret it completely because I was kind of like the class clown in high school, and I made a lot of friends that way, even though I was like, super shitty grades, no work ethic. But I feel as though if I studied harder, there would be a lot of benefits, like I would have had a better network of people I could communicate with. Also a huge benefit of studying hard and like taking AP classes. If you guys know what AP classes are, those are like college credit classes. I actually took two of those in high school. I took AP Psychology and AP Government. And if you get a good grade on the AP test, like a four or higher, you get credit for those college classes. And it's pretty crazy how that works because I got a four in my AP Psych exam and that equated to six credits in college, which is two classes. So basically you're saving like, I don't know, depending on what college you go, a couple thousand dollars. And obviously time and credits you can put into something else. I know studying may seem like really boring to you guys right now, but you guys definitely should study hard in high school. You only go to high school once. Like college is super flexible. It's a lot more flexible than high school. High school goes by in the blink of an eye, but there's so many opportunities that you can take in high school that could just further your college career. I actually started trying a little bit more in junior year which was a big mistake obviously i got like a 3.6 or something like that in junior year and then in senior year it just went back down because it was senior year and nobody really wanted to try hard also i took the sat took sat classes scored like a 1900 or something like that and it wasn't necessary because i went to a community college and then transferred so but yeah as you guys can tell my life has just been a hassle there's a bunch of things i could have prevented and would have made my life a lot easier and my families. and if you are able to take AP classes, 
you should, depending on what AP it is. Like, I wouldn't take AP classes if you're not good at the subject. I would take it if you're, like, good at it. Or if it's interesting to you. Like, psychology. Psychology is so sick. If you guys have AP Psych at your, class, at your uh, high school, definitely take it. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informational to you guys. I hope it inspires you guys to do better in high school. Honestly, high school is a big thing. Do not fuck it up. Also, look at this freaking sick title I got. I'm super hyped on this. This is a common. Can you believe it? It's a common. And look at that emblem. That's fresh as fuck. Anyways, we're getting off topic. Hope you guys enjoyed once again. And leave a like if you did. But yeah, I love you guys. And there will be a shot that this guy that I was playing with, Kusk the God, shout outs to you. You hit a dope shot on evac and i'm putting it in the video hope you don't mind shout out to him i'm gonna put his channel in the description so yeah subscribe to him hope you guys enjoyed and i'm out talk to you later yeah i don't know oh shit did kuz kit what did he really oh what the hell he went from back here oh shit it's lagging for me a little bit damn that was sick what the hell fucking kuz man first time i played with him and he hits a shot god damn it Watch the stars and like this guy's gonna